Is this you? How about this? What about this poor guy? Or this sucker? If you're tired of getting wrecked by demo-hungry opponents, this video might help. In this video, I'll share with you the best methods that I use to avoid up to 90% of bumps and demos. I'll split this video into two sections. The first will be on demos in and around the goal, and the second will be on demos in the middle of the field. Okay, let's start with goal mouth demos. These are the ones that happen in and around the mouth of the goal, as the name suggests. And these are also the ones that can be most costly to your team, because they often lead to conceding goals. Alright, here's a super common situation in threes. You're in goal, one orange player has lost the ball, and his teammate has followed up behind him. And then, on his rotation back, this guy decides to go straight for the guy in goal. My question for you is, where do you think is the best place for you to be to avoid the demo? To answer this question, we need to know what areas of the goal are the danger areas for getting demoed. And if we want to calculate that, we need to find out which areas of the goal the orange player can enter while he's going supersonic. So let's do that. As you can see, the area just behind front post is the only area not accessible to the orange player while he's going supersonic. Which means that if we want to avoid a demo, we should be there, behind front post. Keep in mind that this position does still leave you open to getting bumped. Because the orange player could just slow down here, turn and bump you. But that just takes them out of the game for a little bit too long to make it a viable strategy in most cases. Okay, my next two tips for goal mouth demos are super quick ones. The first is just don't sit still. The best thing you can do when you're sitting in goal and an opponent player is charging at you is to back up deeper into your goal. Turning and jumping will obviously help as well, but they're not always necessary. And the last one is jump super early. Jumping just before impact used to be a good strategy, but people often expect this these days. And therefore, they jump at the same time to intercept you mid-air. Instead, jump about a second before impact. This is much harder to predict for the demoing player, and it allows you much more time to avoid the demo. Trust me, it works almost every time for me. Okay, this next section is about midfield demos. These ones are much harder to avoid because you're often getting demoed from behind. So I think the best way to avoid these demos is just to increase your overall awareness of all of the players on the field. Don't just look at the player with the ball, or the players ahead of you. Use your right stick and whatever button you use to look behind you, to make sure that you're aware of any opponents not directly in front of you. So that's my first tip, just be more aware. My next tip is dodge and weave. Simply put, move as unpredictably as possible. Sitting still or driving slowly towards the play while you wait for a pass makes you an easy target for the opposition to demo. So do little donuts or random turns, or just hit the brakes from time to time. Of course you don't have to do this all the time, just during times when you know that there's an opposition player behind you probably coming in for a demo. And my final tip is, use the walls. The walls are probably the safest place for you to be on the field, other than maybe the ceiling. But being on the ceiling all the time is not very practical. Demos almost always happen on the ground and pretty much never on the walls. So if you are anywhere near a wall and you're expecting a demo, either drive or jump onto the wall to dodge it and you should be totally safe. Alright, those are all my tips to help you guys getting demoed and bumped. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. And subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League content. 
As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.